let's talk about the Wix editor itself and, and more specifically I want to talk about the uh, options that are out there. Uh, in, in order to understand that you really need to have just a tiny bit of the history of web design which is not really that old but you know changes very rapidly. Um, first of all, in the early days websites were built strictly using code and you know that would be HTML or CSS uh, later action script and certainly HTML is still more or less the basis for most websites um, action script has actually been discontinued and uh, while it's still around it's it's not in wide usage anymore but in those days you had to be able to understand these computer languages to be able to build a website and we're talking really as recently as you know ten years ago seven or eight years ago maybe uh, but eventually at some point as is pretty typical with technology they did come out with various uh, ways of manipulating bits of predetermined code that uh, were then unitized and put into what we call a graphic user interface which is actually what we're using here. In fact unless you are a programmer then everything you do on your computer is using a GUI or GUI as we typically call it and that means that instead of seeing lines of code you actually see buttons and words and symbols and images and the kinds of things that we're seeing over here on the left hand toolbar or even over on the right hand toolbar. Um, Wix, the one that we're on now, is itself a website as are all of these uh, web builders and so they have hired programmers to uh, create these things and put them together so that people can use them the ultimate result being that um, there aren't that many programmers anymore and what was you know 15 years ago really kind of uh, an unbelievably hot uh, career option has pretty much dwindled because of the unitized code nowadays the only people uh, who are actually using code are webmasters who are running entire organizational websites or the people that are developing sites like this which is certainly good uh, for just about everybody else because it makes putting out a website a much more simple proposition so um, there are multiple choices in terms of these web builders uh, I said that I prefer Wix because it has a very intuitive layout uh, and in fact it's very similar to you know Adobe Creative Suite products like Photoshop and some of the digital editing video editing programs and so it makes a nice transition you don't have to look very far for things and there are others uh, WordPress was very popular uh, you know a decade ago uh, I don't prefer it I don't think that it has you know nearly as many onboard tools and you know Squarespace and you know there are any number of them out there but the best one that I've found after using multiple and the one that you know is my favorite is is definitely Wix and there are some other reasons for that not just the the graphic user interface but the fact that you don't have to pay anything to make a website uh, in fact you can make many websites and pay them nothing what they do is they include the name Wix specifically Wix site in any website you publish without paying for that you get for free you can then connect that to your own personal domain name or website address that you can purchase from Wix or from GoDaddy or any number of other providers and you know by paying them a very moderate fee something like about ten dollars a month you can attach it and the Wix ads and the Wix name go away and you have your own website but you know you can build as many as you want for free until you get just the one that you want before you actually pay them anything and so that's that's definitely a real strength 
So you certainly may choose your you know own editor, but I'm going to go through the demonstration in Wix. And what I want to do in the next one is talk about web navigation principles, and we will pull up uh, an existing site to be able to do that.